So what's up, TikTok? So Soccer Dave brings up an interesting point. Where as a defender should you be concentrating if you want to defend well, but not get tricked by the attacker? I don't think there's one 100% correct answer, but I do think some answers are better than the other. So let's get started. Let's start from worst to best, in my opinion. So in my opinion, the very worst thing you could do is look at their eyes. Because how easy is it to just do this? In my opinion, the easiest thing I can do is just turn my head to the side and go the other way. If you're looking at my eyes, I can easily no look and go the other way. Now, the next worst thing I think you can do is look at my feet. Because if you look at my feet, that's when I can get all the fancy footwork. That's when I can do all my little tricks and skills and throw you off. Then, I think these are a tie for the best. Because ultimately, we do have to worry about the ball and the attacker. The common rule for defenders is you can let either the ball or the attacker pass you, but never both. However, there are pros and cons to both. With the ball, ultimately, if you want to make a tackle on the ball, you have to have some eye contact on the ball. But the con to it is, is I can move the ball and I can use the ball to deceive you and try to throw you off. Now, looking at my hips or my torso, the big advantage to this, I can't really move my torso and fake you out with it. My torso stays mostly still, no matter how much juking and jiving that I do with the ball. So if you focus on right here, you will be able to make sure that I'm not going to the sides and you'll be able to concentrate on it. However, you will not be able to look at the ball as clearly. After that, I think it's context specific and a bit of individual preference. What you don't want to do is be impatient and stab in.